and Morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Well, last year we gave away a free handgun with the purchase of any vehicle, and it went over very well. Uh, it spiked our web traffic. We sold, uh, we estimate, 35 extra cars during the promotion than we normally would have. And uh, this year we're trying to sell an extra 100 cars more than we normally would. We're just trying to generate some traffic, generate some interest and enthusiasm and excitement, and it seems to work real well. Uh, you know, we, we're not just going to give people an AK-47 gun. You know, felons buy cars too. What we are going to do is we're going to give them a voucher where they can go to their local gun dealer and or we have local gun dealers we would strongly recommend where they can go buy a gun and go through the proper background checks and so that you know the guns end up in the right hands. So, so how much money does it? I mean, how much does an AK-47 cost? I'm just curious. It, it depends. Uh, you can get a good AK-47 for $450, maybe $500. You know, some people watching this might think, you know, owning a handgun is one thing, but owning an AK-47 is something else, and maybe this is just a tad irresponsible? Uh, it's a little, little grandstanding, but how about that guy that just had him and his wife killed that had the 12 children with the seven guys coming through the door? I guarantee you he wishes he had an AK-47 as those as those maggots busted through his door and slaughtered him and his wife in front of his children. Well, but the others for guns like AK-47s is home defense. Well, but police officers are shot in the line of duty all the time and they carry guns every day, so maybe some might not think that's a great argument. Well, I'd personally like to have a sporting chance instead of just becoming a victim. I guarantee you those guys that broke through that door that used guns to kill those people did not have legal guns and did not go through the proper steps to get them. Those are all illegal guns, and I would bet my bottom dollar on it. I haven't seen the facts yet, but mm -hmm. uh, look, there's a bunch of evil in the world, and, and people need to protect themselves. Well, we're real firm believers. We, you know, we're country folks down here. We live down here, and we're real firm believers in the Second Amendment, and we don't want to become victims. When I live out in the country uh, 15 miles from the dealership here on 1,200 acres, the response time to my home is about 15 minutes. And if I'm counting on the police, and we have a great police force in Bates County, great sheriff, uh, great police in Butler where we live. It's response time still 15 minutes to how great the people are and how good their intentions are. And I would rather defend myself. The only 911 call I need is chambering around. Well, and I think that's you know the what? case. I most mean, I, I, I grew here. up in rural America too. We had guns in our home, but they weren't AK 47s. I mean, and, and, but, and but, how long ago was that? When I was a teenager. Well, it's 20 years ago, 30 well, years things ago. Have, things have changed dramatically. I don't know if you know anything about Missouri. Um, where I live in, in this county, there, there's a tremendous crime problem with people doing meth. And these people are, they, they've, they've lost their souls. Uh, they don't care about you, they don't care about me, they care about one thing, getting more dope. Well, and I understand evil wanna, in the world, but I'm just questioning the, the, the um, in a, like a semi-assault weapon to protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. Um, your motto is God, well, let, let guns. Me, your motto is God, Guns, Guts, and American. Um, why did you come up with that particular motto? Actually, it's God, Guns, Guts, and American pickup trucks. Because we sell cars. Right, but you include God in that. And, you know, some might wonder why God is included in a motto that it also includes guns. You don't have a problem with God, do you? No, I don't, but I'm the combination curious. some people well, might, between God and guns, some people might have a problem with that. We're a Christian nation. Um, we're, we're Christian people. I believe that uh, 70, 80 percent, I would guess, in this nation would classify themselves as Christians. I'd say 90 percent of the people in this country are, are believe in God, uh, whoever their God is, and to, to try and remove God from everything I think it's a no, huge no, no, mistake. that's not what I'm saying. I we, I'm saying I think we, I don't putting think we God in a motto that also includes people. guns um, might be a little upsetting to some people. You don't think God wants us to defend ourselves? I'm, I'm confused. I, I <laughs> you know. I don't know. I, I mean, I, don't think I could God ask you the question, you know, we could do the what would Jesus do? Would he carry a gun? Uh, no, they didn't have guns back then, but I do believe he'd carry a sword if he needed it. But he was so powerful, he didn't need any weapon. That is true. Thanks so much for uh, joining us, Mr. Mueller. We appreciate it. Thank you. It. Hey, I appreciate it.